hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is oise Muzeme, and in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful straight skirt so what is unique about this skirt is because it has a slit in front and also it's a short skirt so i'll be showing you ways that you could make your short skirt not too tight which is going to like make you very comfortable while it's short and also the waistband is another thing the waistband is really sitting pretty on the skirt it's not a straight waistband so i encourage you to like watch to the end to gain more value and i'll be showing you the back also look at the back the back does not have like a zipper bulge because there was a manipulation i did at the back also so i'll encourage you to like watch subscribe and also like and share with your friends that love to sew encourage them so they can sew more outfits for themselves and i'll see you in my cotton thing. So guys, this is the back and forth we are working with a rude and horizontal line upward, horizontal line of one inch is wide and throughout the length of the pattern paper that I have on the table. And now I'll be marking my hip measurement divided by 4.1 inch and this is going to serve as we will be working on, on, should I say, our workspace for our skirt. So for the front only actually. So I'm just going to like square that line with my pattern master as you can see me do. So this is just the front, like a quarter of the old measurement, or should I say half of the front, so whichever one is nicer. So I'm going to mark my waist to hip measurement, which is 8 inches. So I'll mark that from the line, the line we measured in, on the upper part, so I'm just going to mark 8 inches downward. So as you can see, I'm just marking it so I can get like a straight line or a straight horizontal line. So that is what we have. So. I'm going to use my pattern master again to square that line so that's going to serve as our hip line so just watch closely i actually have a video on how to make a skirt pattern but this is like an updated version so i'm just i'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by four that's why i marked it and the next thing i'm doing is to add that my that intake so that intake i'm working with is 1.5 so i just added that so now I'll be taking my actual hip measurement, which is 8.75. This is a measurement that is peculiar to me. And I will use the curve part. So what I'm doing here is just to like confirm the measurement. So I'll use the curve part of my pattern master to join both dots or both lines together. So I'm going to just use the curve part. Make sure they are well balanced so they won't be like a sharp edge. So that's what I'm doing. So now we have our hip and our waist measurement joined together using the curve part of my pattern master. So the next thing I'm working on now is the aim of the skirt. My skirt is a short skirt, so I have to be very careful how much I straighten it or how much I tailored tailor the aim. So now I'm I just read my what I wanted. So what I did was I took out 0.75 inch from my actual hip measurement. So now on the aim, instead of using 8.75, I just used 8 inches. Because I'm going to be having a slit in front. If you're not having a slit, please make sure you just take minimal amount so you can work in it or properly work in it. Because this is short and we can't have like a slit at the back because it's going to be very revealing. So that's why I did so. That's now I'm doing now is on the waistline. I'm going to go up by 0 0.5 inches because our waist is not straight. Our waist is curved and we need a balance there. So on the center front, I'm going to go down by 0 0.75 inch. And I will use the curve parts of my pattern master again to join both dots together or both mark together. So that's going to give us a very balanced front. So here I'll be adding our dart. So my dart intake is 3 inches. My input to input measurement divided by 2. That is going to serve as our dart. So the dart length I'm working with here is 5 inches. So I'm just going to mark 5 inches downward and I'll make sure that we are marked five inches. I'm going to be taking my three inches so we can have like a straight line for our dart. So I'm going to join that together again. So I'll be taking my dart intake, which is our 1.5 divided by two. So I'll be taking 0 0.75 on both sides of the line we measured. So I'm just going to form like a an angle. I'm just going to use an angled line. So that's what I'm doing here. So that's our dart for our front. So we're actually done with the front, and what we're doing is just like mark. So that is my waistline that's what i'm writing there and this is going to serve as my hip line and that is the m line so that is our m line so we are actually technically done with the front so what we did now is to like work on the back so what i did for the back is my hip measurement divided by four again but this time i didn't add one inch i added two inch 
2 inches rather because we'll be taking zipper allowance which is going to be at the center back so have the nice just like join that line those dots we made i'll join them together using the straight part of my pattern master and watch out for the next now doing, which is going to be taking my waist like i'm measuring that part now like i'm taking out my one inch which is going to serve as my zip intake so i'm going to work on that part without like the zip allowance i don't know if that makes sense so i'm going to do that now so you see what i'll do so i'm going to connect those dots together again i'll connect them using the straight part of my pattern master as you can see so what we're doing next is to take my waist measurement so the waist measurement is the same waist measurement we use for the front which is waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1.5 inch my waist measurement is 24 so 24 divided by 4 gave me 6 inches plus 1.5 that is 7.5 so yeah i'm taking my waist to hip measurement which is 8 inches so that's what you see me do so i'm just going to like connect that again using my pattern master i'm going to connect that line together and i'll take my hip measurement my normal hip measurement is 8.75 so i'm just going to mark 8.75 there and connect my waist to my hip using the curve part of my pattern master so i'm just going to connect that together and now we're going to work on the aim so the difference between the front and the back is our tailored parts will be dividing by two so i used um, 0.75 for the front so i'll be dividing that by two so that's what I'll do here. So I just went in by 0.5. I just used 0.5 inches because I didn't want to start dividing that. So that's what I see. So I'm going to take 0.5 inch on that part also. So I'll connect. So I'll connect from the hip line down to where I took my 0.5 in and I'll connect that part also, which is on the side seam of the back pattern. So we are not done yet we're working on our waist because we don't want a zipper bulge so on the waist i'm going in by 0.5 inch again and i'll connect that see the part i'm using i'm just trying to like make it really balanced so i'm going to like connect that also into the um center back as you can see so what we're doing now is to measure i'm measuring that part now and it says it's correct so i'm adding my zipper allowance which is um one inch so i'm just adding my allowance of one inch which i'm going to reduce when i want to cut on my fabric though because i don't want that much allowance and i don't have that much fabric for this um for this skirt i'm making the very tiny fabric i'm working with so on the upper part of the front or the um the waistline i'm just going to go up by i went up by 0 0.5 inch so i'm going to connect that point using the curve part of my pattern master but this time i'm going to connect it into the center back without going down no different way down because we are not going down by anything so i'm going to connect all the dots i made for my zipper allowance so we will really, since we use the curve part i'll just work with the curve part so what i'm doing now is to add some allowance on my front pattern or should i say the side seam of my front so i just added some allowance on the back and the front also so i'll connect that together i'm just going to connect all the seam allowance i added using every part like the curve part and also the straight part we needed so i'm connect that also so what we do now is to cut out my front so that was added some allowance so i can cut it out and have like just the back so i'm just going to cut out that part of the center front also and cut out my zipper allowance like the bit i'm just going to cut that up also so i'm done with my front the next with my back rather i'm just cutting that the next we're doing is to add small as you see me do in the next couple of seconds so i'm cutting that also we need to cut that and yeah we have our back pattern ready to work with so let's now be nice to add my dad okay yeah i'm just writing the front and the back so i can know that okay this is my front and this is my back so i'm writing my waistline my hip line my m line so that's what i'm writing just to like tell you guys that, okay this was the things we took so i'm writing zipper because i i don't want that please i don't want to mistake that point for anything so i'm going to like take in my dart now for, for the dart i'll be dividing my back 
divide two instead of taking the, my lip to lip measurement divided by two. I just divide it by two. So I'm taking in my dart leg, and the length of my dart is six point five inches. You can use six inches, whichever one is nice for you. But I'm using six point five. So I'm going to use my pattern master to connect those lines together, which is going to form the straight part of my dart. So I'm going to be using the angled part now to make I'm using my making the angle line rather. Then you connect and that is all for the back so i'm gonna use like cut them on my fabric as you can see me do so this is fabric i'm working with a very nice african print fabric like really, really cool so now for the waistband we don't want to use a straight waistband normally this is what we use like a straight waistband but we don't want to do this so we make it our straight line curve so it can like fit our skirt so my waistband is one inch so i just want to do like a rectangle of one inches wide so now I went ahead to like divide my front from my back. So on that line, I'll be going up by 0 0.5 and I'll be coming in by 0 0.5. You can see me do. So what I'm going to do now is just use the curve part of my pattern master to connect that mark that I made, connect it into the rectangle. So it's going to like be going like it's, going not, it's not going to be as straight as it was before again. So I'm going to connect that also into the rectangle so you see we've gone out of it being straight that's formed that core so this is going to like sit properly on our front you know the front was not like straight now so this is going to like give it like a well balanced um a well balanced waistband so let's connect that to that point also and yeah i'm just marking it's behind camera like it's actually very easy sure so anyway, i'm just marking so i'm going to connect that also into the the mark i made so we connect that also. We connect that. So the next thing I'm doing now is to blend the lines together. So I don't have like a sharp point. So I'm blending the lines together now, and I'm blending. That's how I'm doing. Like I'm just blending the lines together. So now for the front, the upper part, I'm just making that like okay, really straight and all. So that is what we have, and I'll blend that point also just to give it like a really nice finishing. Uh, that's what we have so this is this is going to serve as our waistband so i'm writing waistband there obviously it's this band that i know but i just like enjoy writing on my pattern so the next thing i'll be doing now is to add my seam allowance i'll be adding seam allowance around it remember this our waistband length is our waist measurement divided by two not divided by four divided by two so i'm adding my seam allowance around so i'm going to add my seam allowance around and i'll cut I'm going to cut so this is me adding my seam allowance around so i'm joining my seam allowance everything that i added i'm just joining them together so we can have like a complete pattern to cut on our fabric so yeah i'm using a very tiny seam allowance yes i know my fabric is tiny again so i'm using this seam allowance of 0. i think 0. 0.25 it's very tiny so and yeah i think it's based on this place i actually enjoy tiny seam allowance because it does not waste fabric and it's, i don't have to like trim but if you know you can like do that please use you know a standard seam allowance of um one inch or two centimeters so that is all i have for my front and my waistband rather this is it this is just showing you what it looks like it's really giving so next i'm doing nice to take in my darts on my on my actual fabric so i'm just taking that just what we did on the pattern paper i'm just doing exactly the same thing so that's what i'm doing basically what we did on the pattern paper taking like that i'm just repeating it on my fabric so i'm using a pen so you can't really like see what i'm doing but that's what i'm doing so i'm just going to like leave you to like watch the video let me stop talking now so you can like watch it because it's just a repetition of what we did on our pattern paper Remember, you cut the front on a fold. The pattern we made is just a quarter of our total measurement. So make sure you like cut your front on a fold. The back can be cut separately because there will be a joining at the back with the front. There's no joining on the front.
So I'll be taking the back that also. I'm working on the back, back that. So these are my waist lines. So I'm just dividing it like so just what we did on the pattern, the same thing, nothing serial, nothing different. So that's what I'm doing on the back too. So marking my seam at my that length and that's all. So guys, I'm gonna have to like join my dots to get there. So I'm just going to like tie. So now I've joined the side seams together also of the front and the back. I've done the same thing for the lining and I'm going to like press them open. So what we're doing now is to so I've trained that I'm going to press to open. Please make sure you press at each interval. So what we're doing now is to like join my front together. So what I did was to make a notch there, which is going to serve as my um my slit. So I'm going to really line a line of three inches long. Please really line there, please. I'm so sorry, you can't see this. I'm so sorry, guys. So I'm just going to really line on that point. So I just marked where I wanted my slits to be, which I, which I showed you at the beginning of the video how I did that. So I'm just going to like mark the length of the slit, which is three inches. So I'll just mark that and just rule a straight line. That is all. Let me use my pen to rule a straight line. This is my pen now. I'm using my pen to rule a straight line. So on that straight line, I'm going to like come out by 0.5 inch, just as if we are doing it that, but this time it is reversed. I don't know if so. I'm going to go out by 0.5 inch and on the other side to 0.5 inch. Then I'm going to connect it in an angle, connect the straight line rule to that point. Okay, I don't know if you understand, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to connect that point to it on the other 0.5 also on the other side of the line. We will going to connect that to to it so that's going to serve as our um slit i'm working on that as i was a bit cutting that open which you see soon so now what we're doing now is to pin so i just got some pins like just like put my pins on my table and now I'll be facing the front side of my the the right side of my the right side of my line with the right side of my fabric. I'll be put, I'll be joining them together. So I'm just matching side seam to side seam, and I'll use a pin to like secure that also. We we'll match side seam to side seam. Wherever I add notch, I'm going to mark that. I'm going to pin that also. So I'll pin that point also because there's a notch there for me. Those notches are just guides to tell us that okay, this is where this thing is supposed to be joined. Those, those are the important that, that is the importance of notch on um, clothes on pattern paper. So I'm just going to join the side seam also to get that. I'm opening my side seam because I opened it while I was ironing, so it's very easy for me to like join. So that's the beauty of ironing at interval because it's going to like give a nice finishing. Like it's different when you iron from when you don't iron, different actually very clear. So I'm going to pin that point also. I'm going to pin that also. In at this this now this is my aiming glue. So like I'll be sewing on my aiming glue. You see that now. So I'm showing you what I'm doing. So I'm going to like sew on this point, on this point, then where I had that um this I'm going to sew into that line and into that line out then so out the again so that's what i'm going to do that's what i'm showing you so i'm adding my um aiming glue so that i'm going to sew on it so that when i iron it it's going to lay really really flat so that's what i'm doing i'm adding my aiming glue so i'm going to like be using my aiming glue i'll be sewing on it i'll show you when i'm done so this is what i've sewn I'm done sewing and um, this is what we have. So I'll be cutting in between my slit. Just be very careful at this point. So you like cut into your actual 
clothes. So I'm just gonna cut this into my this now. I'm using I'm making an ankle there. So when I open when I turn it, it's going to lay very flat. So that's what I've cut and that is all. So I'm just gonna like turn that point so I'm going to like check it when I turn them. If it's nice, I'm going to like trim that off a bit. So you see me, I'm going to like trim that off. I'm going to trim into my seam, please. I'm going to like just trim just a little bit here so it can turn really well. So that's what we have. And I'll be turning that also. Turning that. So just be, take your time, actually. Take your time, there's no rushing. So when I iron, the reason why I use a hemming is because when I iron it, I want it to be um, lining to stay inside. It shouldn't like start peeping out. Okay, you understand? So that's well. that why I use the hemming. So when I iron, it's going to like stay inside. So I'm gonna have to like turn it and I've ironed it here. So now this is my waistband, and I'm going to be marking like or making a notch on the center of my waistband. So the waistband is cut on the fold and i'm going to be joining my waistband to my skirt so i'm gonna actually like, make a notch on my skirt to the center front of my skirt i made a notch there so i'm joining those notches together first then i'll just pin throughout the waistband so you see that now um just checking out my seam and also that's what i'm doing here i'm just checking the quality of my seam I'm checking the quality of my seam so it's not nothing really important i'm just checking the quality of my seam so i'm gonna like mark the center point of my skirt my waistline the waistline of my skirt so now i have a notch there also so i'll be doing nice to pin my waistband to it so i'm just joining that together so what you can do now is go to your sewing machine and just join using the basting stitch to join the lining and the main fabric together so i'm gonna have to do that so that is going to give you like the freedom to mark them to pin so you won't be having to like join it together with your hand so just use a basting stitch so i'm going to join the notch i made on the waistband and the notch i made on the skirt so i'm just aligning the notches together i'm using my pin to secure so that's what you're saying me do here i'm pinning i'm going to pin now so i'm going to use my pin now to secure that and this is my pin and i'm just going to like pin throughout everywhere i need to pin so it's not serious Simple. So if you watch this point, guys, kindly subscribe. I'm sure God value. Please subscribe to my channel. Let's grow this channel together, and let's get a wider audience. Because when you subscribe, when you like, when you share, when you comment, YouTube is going to know that okay, I am doing something right. So they're going to like push my content more. So that's the reason why you subscribe. That's the reason why you share, and that's the reason why you like and also leave a comment. And also you can also leave a, leave a comment for your suggestion. And yeah and what video you'd like to see yeah so that's all so i'm just pinning here so in the nutshell please subscribe to my channel thank you i'm not proud just subscribe to my channel as i'm trying to see so i'm just pinning shadow i'm doing i'm pinning the waistband to the waistline of my skirt so that's what i'm pinning i'm just going to like pin the other part to of the skirt um, just pin, 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 pin for security. So I'll take that now. I'm so and so on my similar so why is here so that's also i'm gonna just like iron my waistband after sewing and now i'll be joining the opening of the back the center back to get that but i'll be leaving out my zipper allowance or my zipper length my zip length i'm working with is nine inches long so i'm using a zip length of nine inches long so i'm just going to like pin that so i can get like a straight line i'm going to like pin everything together but i'll show you the part i'll be sewing so i'm joining my um center front to get that my center back rather sorry my center back you need like pin that up so make sure you you make sure you make sure your lining and your main fabric is not um is well aligned yeah so this is like show you how pin so i'm measuring from my waistline 
down to where I want my zip to stop. So I'm using um, nine inches. So I'm just going to like pin that. So I'm going to sew on this line. My seam allowance. I'm going to sew on that line. So that is also I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to just like join my center back together, and the part that is left is just for so add zip. So I just should have ironed it also. So this is the zip I'm working. Although I changed the zip because I didn't like the zip. It's not really a good zip. It's a cheap zip. So I'm just showing you that. Okay, this is the zip I'm using, but I changed the zip. So when we are done with this, that will be all for the video or for the story. So I just join my add my zip and that is all for the skirt. So thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you so so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I really really do appreciate it. And thank you so much again. Thank you and I'll see you in future videos.